All right, Shalom. <clears throat> Shalom, giving all praises, glory, and honors unto Yahweh. By Shemi Shai, by Shemi Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops of Great Millstone. Shalom to the 144,000, the rest of the whole full leg. This is your brother Tazawa from GMS Atlanta. Back with another edifying video. And uh, through the spirit, I want to chime in on uh, this um, topic of uh, Bishop Nathaniel pretty much continuing to go off on the true doctrine of the scriptures, teaching, uh, well, for one, he's now teaching uh, Yahweh. Yahweh didn't deal with Israel. It was Yahweh Shai. And, you know, among other things like teaching uh, the Israel, the two thirds would die and go to hell. Teaching that the lake of fire is hell. Uh, teaching that the name of the Lord doesn't matter. You know, and teaching, you know, the MOTB is sin in all its forms. You know, he's just been going off a lot lately. And, uh, you know, this is why we tell you that IUIC are uh, starting with their leader, Bishop Nathaniel. You know, really him. He's really the, uh, he's really the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, qu the queen or the king, the king host, right? And then you got the rest of IRC, IUIC, which make up the, the hive mind, you know, but he's the mastermind behind, uh, the false doctrine over there, Israel United in Christ. Um, so I just want to bring out a scripture through the spirit, um, just to show you that the heavenly father indeed did in fact, without a, a shadow of a doubt, deal with the Israelites, that it was the heavenly father and not Yahweh Shai. All right. Although Yahweh Shai did make his appearances where it was actually him, his spirit dealing with Israel. Um, okay, okay, I'm back. So I just want to show you how the Lord, Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, did deal with uh, the Israelites. Although, like I was saying, although Yahweh Shai, um, Yahweh Shai did make his appearances as well. So this is the book of Joshua, chapter 3. And uh, I'll start at the top. It says, And Joshua rose early in the morning. And this is speaking about Joshua, the son of Nun, the, the, the second after Moses. It says, And Joshua rose early in the morning, and they removed from Shittim, and came to Jordan. He and all the children of Israel and lodged there before they passed over. And it came to pass after three days that the officers went through the host and they commanded the people saying, when ye see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God and the priest, the Levites bearing it, then ye shall remove from your place and go after it. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure, and come not near unto it, that ye may know the way by which ye must go. For ye have not passed this way heretofore. And Joshua said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. Right? And when you look up this here for the Lord, what do you see? Hold on, let me go to. When you look at this and you see the Lord, you see Yahweh. All right? The Heavenly Father. Okay, so number one, we have to understand that the Heavenly Father, he's the one that is guiding our people here. All right, it's his guidance. So now I want to go to verse five, I'm sorry, six. It says, and Joshua spake unto the priests, 
saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass over before the people. And they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the people. Verse 7, and here's the point. And the Lord, Yahweh, right, all caps, once again, right, and the Lord, Yahweh, H3068, okay, Yahweh, he exists, he that exists, he to be, okay, yeah, verse 7, and the Lord said unto, and the Lord, Yahweh, said unto Joshua, this day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel. And this is how we're going to know right here. I'm about to read it that Yahweh was dealing with Israel, just like I'm sorry, with Joshua, just like, well, I'm going to read it. And, and they, they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. So Yahweh dealt with Joshua, too. Okay, now I'm going to read this in the NLT. The Lord, Yahweh, told Joshua, Today I will begin to make you a great leader in the eyes of all the Israelites. They will know that I am with you just as I was with Moses. Okay, so there you go. Real quick and straight to the point. All right, Yahweh dealt with Moses. Yahweh dealt with Joshua. All right, so all that BS about, we, you know, it wasn't the father that dealt with Israel and Moses. It was uh, Yahweh Shai. No, Yahweh Shai did deal at times, but it was Yahweh that appeared to Moses in the burning bush and that guided Moses and Aaron. And it was also the Heavenly Father that dealt with Joshua. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to end it there. I just want to make this quick, you know, just real easy, man, dealing with these false prophets. All right? So I hope this was edifying. Until the next time, I'll say Shalom.